Welcome back to the Peptide of the Week podcast. I'm your host, J.D. Denham, across the way in the Big Island of Hawaii. Sitting behind him with a gorgeous view is my buddy and my co-host, William T. Haas. How you What's doing, up, bro? Man? How's life? Well, life is good. You, I, I can't have any problems being in Hawaii. This is a real, that's a real background. Yeah, It's not yeah, dubbed yeah. in. You have <laughs> earned it, my friend. You have yep. earned it, my friend. So uh, as we sat down to get this podcast going, ladies and gentlemen, as you can imagine, we're having a, a little bit of some internet problems. So we got a little created. Will and I, long before we made this podcast a podcast, we were doing some different types of things with some videos, whatnot, and we recorded a video in my backyard for my YouTube channel a year and a half ago or so, Will. <laughs> yeah, yeah, about that. <laughs> On HGH and MK677. Ironically, today we were going to do those two peptides, right? Uh, yes. So how ironic do we have that video in storage? So we, since this internet's not looking so good, we are going to use that video as a podcast for today so he can get back to his vacation and enjoy his life. <laughs> and uh, I think you're going to enjoy it nonetheless. I've watched it numerous times, and I've sent this to numerous people. So today we are going to go through human growth hormone and MK677. So I hope you enjoy this podcast. We will still try to squeeze in the Q&A, even though he's on vacation. We'll try to, now knowing the Internet's not going so well, we'll try to be a little bit more prepared. But... Right, Will. What, what do yep, you think? Yep. Close us out since you're sitting on the, on a beach. Yeah, we'll do the best we can on the Q and A. And so, like, if there are questions that um, aren't answered, please hit us up during the Q and A. Right. Yep. If, uh, but I think that, yeah. My apologies and appreciate everybody working with me. <laughs> you know what, man? Enjoy your vacation. And for all of you, enjoy the podcast. HGHMK six seven seven. Give us some feedback. Ask some questions, and we'll catch you on the next round. Here it is. Okay, welcome back. We are in Costa Mesa, California, in my backyard with my buddy Will Haas. Hello. Uh, back by popular demand, we're going to talk about some supplements. Today we're going to talk about MK677, and we're going to talk about human growth hormone. Welcome. Well, thank you. Uh, Glad you to doing? be here. Good. So let's start, uh, let's start with uh, human growth hormone, HGH, everybody's favorite. Tell us what exactly is it and why do we take it? Well, HGH is also a peptide, right? It's just one of the more popular peptides. It's been around for a long, long time. Um, it, stim it, it actually is. We have human growth hormone in IGF-1, which HGH kind of triggers the, the IGF-1. Those both help our body, geez, grow muscle, increase our bone density, uh, burn fat, sleep better. Sleep better. <clears throat> and... And muscle just, waste. yeah, I mean, yeah, so we're putting on muscle Skin. and definitely not wasting. These were, HGH was originally made for AIDS patients who, whose body just eats away all their muscle. So mm -hmm. that was the point of it is to tell our body to stop burning off all your muscle. What, uh, what would you say, I know, and this is going to be each person is very different, you know, um, but what would you say would be the, the proper dosage, obviously depending on objective, right? but what would you say if somebody wanted to take it, how much would you recommend they take? Okay, so now I'm assuming they're not a uh, you know world class bodybuilder, <laughs> right? Totally. Uh, we don't. I don't know. I don't think anybody they should be doing the dose. They would take a lot, but for a normal person, right? I would say between you know between one to four IU's. Okay. So they come in in IU's. It's a it's a daily injection. Um, subcutaneous into your stomach okay tiny little injection um but one to four i use will help with you know, fat burning everything i just said it's not going to make you a monster right it's you're not taking enough for it to actually grow new new actual muscles so that's that is what at a high dose it will do it, it won't just make your muscles bigger it will actually just create brand new little stem cells and make new muscles sure. we're looking for more recovery rejuvenation uh, to look normal and to feel better, but look a little bit better. Sleep better. Obviously, sleep better, if yep. you're lifting, lifting weights, sleeping better is good. Huge. Uh, burning yep. fat. Who doesn't want burning fat? I mean, I've been taking it for three years, so mm -hmm. I know that longevity is, is a thing. I know some yeah. people will ask, well, do you cycle on it? Do you cycle off it? What would you say about that? 
Uh, no. <laughs> there, okay, yeah, there's no need to cycle off it. You should be doing it every day. Um, now, I guess I do warn people when they say they're interested in it. I say, okay, make sure that you are committed, right? You have the, enough money uh, to go at least six months, right? Sure. I really think at least six to 12 months, right? That's when we really start to see what it's doing. So for sure, make sure you are budgeted um, and committed to, to see that through or else it's just a waste of money. But... Yeah. Okay, so to answer the other questions, um, no cycling. It needs to be done every day, right? I hear people say, oh, well, I should take two days off a week. <laughs> the only reason you do that is if you want to save money, right? Sure. There's there's would absolutely it, no think? benefit. Uh, yeah, it would probably negatively affect your sure. results a little bit because too. you're not getting it, getting it in you every day. Um, and longevity, yeah. right? Hey, six to 12 months, that's when we start seeing results. But take it. Take it forever. Ten years down the road. Yeah. Um, Ten years down the road, you will look younger. I mean, maybe not, but you might look the same, right? Your wrinkles are going to start to disappear. Um, it's because it's rejuvenating your cells and everything in your body. It. I noticed a big difference. I mean, like like he's saying the the six months mark. I that's about the mark that I really noticed it. I noticed noticed more definition in my stomach, no, my yep. obliques. Uh, you know, at first you get a little tired. You know, yep. I think yes, we you talk do. about that a little bit. So some of the negative side effects. Sure. When you first start taking it, if you have good growth hormone, you should feel a little bit tired, right? right. Your body is doing now some some unusual functions it's not used to be doing, and it's taking it a little a little out of you. So you'll feel tired maybe a few weeks. That will that will go away. Um, goodness. I don't know what other side effects are. What are the I mean, negative I, side I can effects tell you are. some of the side effects that I felt when I was, because it's a dosage. You, everybody's different. It's a yeah. science project. You got to really do some trial and error what works for you. I have found that 1IU does me great. I've been taking 1IU for three years. Now, when I first started, I was toying around with two mm -hmm. and three. I was getting some achiness in my fingers and my elbows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't even able to, to lift. Mm -hmm. So I backed it off and I just started to feel good at one and that's what works for me. I believe less is more. However, because it doesn't, just because it works for me does not mean it's gonna work for somebody else. Oh, great. And I remember you, yeah, I remember you starting it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you having some trouble. Ago? Yeah, I, I do remember that. And um, absolutely. So I will sometimes, when people start off and start a little too high, if they start with three IUs, let's say, they might experience a lot of water retention. So sure. that one's a common thing that sure. I see. Generally, I say, okay, if we experience it, let's back it down to one IU, yeah. okay? Do that a few weeks, let your body get used to it, and then let's slowly bump up in increments, and usually, pretty much always, that solves the problem. Your yeah. body just kinda needs to get used to it and not take a, a bunch at a time. Um, and, yes, I guess you should, so here's the signs, right? You should feel tired at the beginning. Your knuckles should feel like you have arthritis. Uh, and that's a good thing. I get, you know, that's a side effect. You know, it's working. You know that you're actually getting the real, <laughs> the real thing. Some people, and then a little bit of tingling, numbness in your fingers. Very some people get it really bad, like really tingling and, 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 and like bad. stinging pins and needles down their forearms. Mm -hmm. um, and all I can say is everybody's different, but back it down, get a bit used to it. Yeah. Um, but, and yes, less is more. Yeah. Everybody is different. You can so always go up. You can always go up, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I know that, uh, that's one of the things that because somebody hears their buddy taking it and this is what's worked for them, that's not gonna work for you too. It's the well, same thing with testosterone, it's the same thing with anything. You need to play around with it to a degree to find what sweet spot is good for you, you know? Absolutely, enough said. Yeah. Agreed. So H <laughs> HGH, what we got is uh, helps with skin, helps with sleep, helps with burning fat, helps with muscle waste. All around, one of my favorite products. That's why I've been running it for three years. So there you go. One IU works for me. One to three generally is what you recommend. Yeah, yeah. One wow. to three. One to three and, and yeah, anything more than that, you're getting some diminished returns and then you're getting some weird side effects that are happening. Yeah. Right? Things things that shouldn't be growing bigger are gonna grow bigger, <laughs> like your your skull or your organs, etc. Uh so I'd safely keep it yeah. All right, last question on HGH. Uh, concerns on like cancer, something like that. I know I get some questions in regards to that. Do you, are you concerned about cancer? Um, yes, it's something to think about, right? Human growth hormone makes everything grow in your body. So if you happen to be the unlucky few who develop some type of cancer, you know, running growth, it. then it is going to make it grow a little bit faster. But sure. I do think that the low, if we're keeping it between, you know, under three IUs, 
uh, it's yeah. not going to make that much. It's not right. going to be growing at a huge rapid rate. Sure, I agree. You know, one of the things I say is uh, just about the food. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, people will talk about the human growth hormone, but they won't realize they're eating a bunch of sugar and all these things that are going to, in my opinion, uh, <laughs> cancer feeds on sugar and yep. all that yep. stuff too. So you just got to always weigh out that stuff out. Right. The growth is not going to cause the cancer. Yeah. But the food and all this other crap that you're, yeah, you're can. might cause it. Yep, absolutely. Um, the, I guess the last thing is time of day. So time here's day. one that I get people asking me about. People will read up on the internet and say, oh, okay, I'm supposed to take this at night. That's because you're reading a lot of actual, like, you know, clinical documentation for people who are, who have very, very, very low growth hormone levels okay and so the doctor not making their own they're not making their own so naturally in our bodies are we make it at we make the most growth hormone at night time mm-hmm. okay um so <clears throat> that's when the doctor is going to tell you hey if you have none that's when you need to give yourself some well if you are healthy and most of us pretty much start making a pretty healthy amount of growth hormone mm-hmm. um if you take it at night, it's going to now kind of shut that function down, right? Yeah, no. Not shut it off, but shut it down. So down. you're best off taking it in the morning, okay? okay? Uh, when your body doesn't make as much, right? And giving it a big boost a, a boost there in the morning. Also take it when your blood sugar is the lowest. So, so no food. Take it on an empty stomach right when you wake up. Yeah, right away. Yep. All right, good. All right, let's talk about NK677, which for me personally, I've, I've done a lot of different supplements through the years. This is new to me. It's new. Mm-hmm. I've, I've been taking it for four months. Um, just really quickly about, you know, what I've I felt. I felt it immediately. You know, I felt it immediately. So tell us a little bit about what it is and why we take it. So MK677 is ibutamorin, and uh, it's new to, it's not really new, it's not really new out in, in the, it's been out several years, but it's gaining in popularity right now. I so it's pretty much new to, yeah. new to a lot of people. Sure. Um, it is actually a non-peptide HGH secretagogue. So it is not a peptide, but it's my, everybody just classifies it as a peptide. I have. <laughs> Whatever. Um, it is it is secretagogue. It makes your body make more of its own HGH. So versus actual growth hormone that is the real thing, <laughs> giving you the real thing, right? Uh, MK is telling your body, hey, let's make more of your own. Let's make more of your own. So awesome. side effects there, it's like there is no possibility to shut your own growth hormone off. Which goes into obviously when we take it. Right. When we take it, well, then you're going to take that thing at, at night. So, and there is different research. I know you, you can take it in the morning. You can take it at night. I personally think taking it at night time, right? It's going to make you a little bit tired. Okay, well, I think we're going to talk about how it's going to make it potentially can make you hungry um you might as well be asleep while you're tired (laughs) you might as well be asleep while you're hungry if you're trying to lose weight and not be not be hungry but also hey if your body's making the most normal growth hormone at night let's give that a kick in the pants right let's normal just kind of boost that up yeah i guess that's two of the things that i hear most on if you call it negative which would be the hunger like a lot of people get super hungry and a lot of people get super tired yeah Um, i haven't personally experienced either of those i initially when i was taking it i was taking it in the morning because i had not read that i know you and i talked about it and then i started taking it at night um but i will tell you that most people that i talk to high majority really deal with the hunger yes they get really hungry yeah so yes it so mk actually just stimulates your ghrelin your ghrelin receptor, your ghrelin hormone, which is your hunger hormone. Um, so yes, scientifically, it is it is making you hungry, right? And in response to that activation of ghrelin, uh, it is increasing your HGH. Okay, your body just naturally does that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, uh, everywhere. I mean, it should make you hungry. And I, I mean, to be honest, we just we talked about this. Like, I don't know. It didn't make me really hungry, but I know everybody else. Yes, absolutely. I think though, a lot of people just depends. You and I have been in the health and nutrition a long time, so therefore, in regards to diets, we're really good at the diet part because yeah. I can, I can really control those hunger type things. Right. Like if right. you're talking to somebody that's just starting on their fitness journey, don't have the experience with the diet or the discipline mm-hmm. over time, which yep. you, you right. know comes over time. Um, they probably will have a little bit more time, hard time with the eating. For that's sure. That's why you take it at night. Is uh, <laughs> yeah. you won't be hungry if you're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I hope sleep. not. Cool. <laughs> right. Just don't wake up. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you wake up really hungry, just close your eyes. And go back to sleep. Uh, I uh, 
Yeah, so those two together, and the reason why we're talking about this, they really go in tandem. I can tell you, you know, with me running a bunch of different cycles and whatnot, um, these two together have been amazing. Yeah, I have yeah. noticed it. Again, I noticed that I noticed the MK677 literally immediately. Pumps were great. Mm -hmm. um, I just felt great. You know, I'd been running HGH for a long time. I just had heard about the MK677 about four months ago. You and I talked about yeah. it and started running those two, and I got to tell you, I love it. I, <laughs> yes, I'm a believer too. Yeah. I love it too. Everybody who I have uh, known who's taken it has loved it and literally feels it. Yeah. The next day. Um, nice pumps, full and gets muscles. It, gets, yeah, you get you get huge pumps, full muscles, right? Uh, dosages. People, dosages. Okay, so 25 milligrams is the dose. The okay. The stuff that I am used to taking, and I'm sure it comes in pills, but is a liquid dropper under your tongue, sublingual. Mm -hmm. um, I think this comes in uh, 30 milligrams per milliliter. Okay. So, um, but we're trying to do 25 milligrams. So, I don't know, about 0.75 of a mil. Okay. Um, but again, people, that's just a specific brand that I use. So, yeah. you're going to have to figure it out Everybody's yourself. Um, and you can always go up. You can do 0.5. Yep. And then move up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. I would start at about half the dose. Start at more. half of the dose that you're that, that the ultimate goal is, <laughs> right? And then work your way up. If you do well with it, yeah. then easier way Then to keep do going. Um, yeah. You know what else, right? It's an HGH secreted gog. So everything we just talked about for HGH, that all of those benefits, this is giving you those too. Because it is making your H, you know, it's increasing your HGH. Yeah, so you take the HGH in the morning right away. Mm -hmm. um, and then you take this at night and it's going to increase your own human growth hormone so it seems to be a perfect blend of this absolutely. little tandem attack yep. on on the human growth hormone. absolutely and i guess the last thing is man do i see much better results for people who are a little bit older yeah to be honest yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah. when we're talking about hgh if you're under 35 i'm i honestly will just say don't don't even bother don't waste your money mm -hmm. um but man once you hit 35 40 and your <laughs> hgh dips a little bit like Oh, those make a huge difference. Absolutely. And so those of you who are of that age, try it. The stuff, yes. It's the it's point amazing. of supplements. We're supplementing where we're starting to falter. Mm -hmm. um, you don't need to age like crap. We can age well. So guys that think that you shouldn't take testosterone <laughs> replacement, you shouldn't take human growth hormone, they're just being silly. <laughs> just they're being silly. silly. <laughs> not making use of technology. It's like, you know, saying like, no, I don't want a cell phone. It's, it's not dumb. cheating. <laughs> You're aging better. You can <laughs> age well. You can yeah. feel better and all around. Well, awesome, man. Well, I appreciate you coming out. You know, it's, it's great to have Will here. He guy knows a lot about a lot. If there's anything in particular, any supplements that you would like us to talk about, leave me a comment. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, and send this to somebody. That's all we got.